So you've been watching your favorite DBD YouTubers and you've realized that their game looks much more clear and bright than yours. Your favorite YouTubers are most likely playing the game on PC, and because of this, they get to use third-party extensions to brighten their games. Unfortunately, console DVD does not have this luxury. With that being said, there are many things that Xbox, PlayStation, and Switch players can use to brighten their game. In the first video, I went over the best colorblindness settings to make your game easier to see. I really recommend watching that video. If you want to start with that video first, you can click that I up in the top right that you see right now. If you want to watch it after you watch this video, it'll be in the description. This video is going to be about actually changing the settings of your monitor or TV, whatever type of screen that you use. There's a lot of videos out there that talk about monitor settings, make your games brighter or more saturated or more vibrant. This video is going to be specifically optimized for console dead by daylight to eliminate some of the darkness in your games. These are also the settings that I used and that I've used for now I think six years and they've worked the best for me. You know, every once in a while I'll tinker with them a tiny bit, but for the most part they stay the same always. Before we get into that, let's pull up the brightness test screen on Xbox. I'm sure there's a way to do it on PlayStation. I wouldn't know. I've never had a PlayStation and I've also never had a Switch, so I don't know if there's this kind of a thing on Switch as well. This is just kind of an optional thing for Xbox users. Um, if you want to pull up your test screen, it really helps understand what you're really doing to each color and how you're changing your screen. For PlayStation or Switch players, just sit in the lobby of Dead by Daylight or go into the getting started tutorial for Survivor or Killer or whatever. It doesn't really matter, but for you Xbox players that want to go ahead and do this, go to Settings, General, TV and Display Options, Calibrate TV, you can go next, next, next. Right here you will see the brightness testing screen. Go ahead and select next one more time to expand the brightness testing menu. Keep your screen here for now. Don't touch anything on your controller. Okay, so now that we're here, this is the moment where we're going to change the actual screen settings. Keep in mind that changing these settings will carry over into everything else that you use the screen for. So if you're playing on a family TV, make sure to let anyone else who uses this screen know that you are changing the settings or make sure that you get your parents permission before you start changing things. Every screen has a different UI, so you will have to find where your monitor shows each option. Here is your brightness. I would have turned mine up to 100, but I usually play in a pretty dark room, so it's a bit harsh on my eyes. If you don't mind it, I recommend turning it to 100. Then we have our contrast. This is more of a preference thing. In some situations, having a higher contrast can make certain things like teammates or killers pop out and be more noticeable in a darker background. At the same time, having a higher contrast makes the dark parts of your screen darker and the light parts lighter. So in most situations, at least when it comes to DVD, having a higher contrast will actually make your problem worse. Assuming that your contrast is at 50 out of 100 by default, I would recommend turning your contrast up just slightly by 10 or 15 so you get the benefits of high contrast without losing the visibility you would lose if you had a higher contrast. Next we have Gamma. This is arguably the most important setting that you can change on your monitor when it comes to DVD. Having a higher Gamma will wash out your colors a bit but it's so worth it because it makes the darkness less dark, like significantly less dark. Next, black boost. I think this is something that is usually only on gaming monitors, but if you have it, I would turn this up as much as you can. It will make your blacks look almost gray and your game will be a hundred times easier to see. Here is what it looks like before and after, before and after. Another quick fix that you can do is actually through your Xbox, PlayStation, or Switch. I'm not sure how this would look, but I know that every console should somewhere have an option for RGB range. I believe that's what it's called. What you're going to do is you're going to go into your settings. If you're on PlayStation, I think it's screen and video. On Xbox, it's video output. And then on Switch, I'm not sure what it is, whatever graphics or video setting that you have. And what you want to find is an option called RGB range. If it's on full, change it to automatic or limited. Try limited first. That should make your game a little bit brighter. At this point, if you're on PlayStation, you should see an option right above color range that says adjust HDR. It's going to bring you to a similar screen to what you saw when I was showing Xbox players. It's going to have a little symbol of a sun in different colors of boxes. And you want to adjust the brightness until you can just barely see the symbol. Or at least that's what it wants you to do. But when it comes to Dead by Daylight, Dead by Daylight's default brightness is already so low, you want to make that brightness a little higher. Raise it up a little bit more. 
while you're in your TV options. If you go to your TV and display options on Xbox, I think on PlayStation it's still in video options, you'll be able to change your resolution. So if your screen keeps kind of dimming, make sure you mess with your resolution until it doesn't do that anymore. If you don't know what you're doing and you don't know any of the specs from your monitor, what it supports, at least on Xbox there's an option for 4K TV details. If you select that, it will give you all of your specs. It'll tell you which resolution to use and which refresh rate it supports. Now, somewhere nearby your resolution option, you may see an option for refresh rate. If you have a monitor that supports that, raise that to the highest option that you can. That will also help your graphics and your game have a better performance. Over time, your console may just wear down happens to everything. Something you can do to prevent this from happening for as long as possible is switching your console to energy saving mode. If you do this you may lose a few of the luxuries you have. For example a faster boot up time or Cortana if anyone uses that. But putting your Xbox or PlayStation on energy saving mode can help preserve your console and may even increase your performance and your graphics. Okay now that we've talked about brightness I want to talk about general graphics settings and increasing your graphics obviously the best thing you can do to increase your graphics is to upgrade if you don't have an xbox series s or a series x i really recommend maybe saving up for it if you don't have a playstation 5 i recommend saving up for it they have really high-end graphics on those things and if you want you could just save up for a pc and then you wouldn't have any of these problems but if you'd rather stay console gaming that's totally fine consider upgrading to one of the next-gen consoles. Xbox Series X and PlayStation, they both have 4K, they both have ray tracing even, and it can support 120 FPS. One last thing, if you want just a really quick simple tip, you don't want to go into too much of the advanced technical stuff, you just want to be told what's the best thing to do so I can just do it. Go into your monitor settings, if you have different color temperatures, and they are numbered, select the option for 6500K. If your color temperatures are cool, warm, uh, I don't know, standard, etc. At that point, it is preference, you can experiment with each one. I would encourage you to really look into the warm setting, because most monitors out of the box come cool. So setting it to warm will kind of counteract the coolness that the monitor automatically kind of has. Warm also boosts your reds a bit and adds some saturation and some vibrance so it'll make your colors pop a little more. If you guys have any other ways of increasing brightness and boosting graphics on console DVD, please let me know in the comments. That's all for today. I put a lot of work into this video to help you, so all I ask in return is for you to click that like button. If you want more DVD tutorials and general content, click the subscribe button. Thank you and goodbye.